Yo, hello and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy Part 47. And I have to attend Beast class again. By the looks of it. I don't know what's looking what's coming for me. Oh what the fuck is that? Oh yeah, this is ugly. Ugly muffle man. Ah, oh, this one is cute. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, nice. Excellent. Salazar Slytherin's spellbook. Meet me in the Undercroft. I found something. Oh, Jesus. I hate to see a creature get put down like that. But trolls have no business in Hogsmeade. Yeah, yeah. I take it you're ready to learn your new spell. Yes, I am. I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. <laughs> Use caution when casting it. Is this something we should be learning in school? Better for you to learn it in school, where we can instruct you properly as to its use. Hmm? Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. <laughs> Go ahead. Nice and steady wand movements. Okay. Remember, the exploding charm is highly volatile. There we go. Bomb well motherfucking done. border. Now. Let us put it into practice, shall we? Yes, yes, yes. We shall put it into practice. This is Expelliarmus, huh? Bombarda! Go ahead and try it on the pumpkins. Revelio! I want to try it on you, to be honest. Not on the pumpkins. I'm going to try it that close. Bombarda! Excellent one Holy. work. That's a good Cast one. the spell just like that every time. Assured and in control. Nice. Where are the beasts? Where are the chickens? I want to try to use it on them. Revelio. Professor, might I have a moment? Yes. What is it? I was wondering what inspired your interest in magical beasts. Are you considering some sort of profession in the field? I haven't decided quite yet, but I do find magical beasts fascinating. Hmm. You do seem to engage well with the beasts in class. I believe that when choosing a path, particularly of a scholarly nature, one must take into account both one's enthusiasm for a particular subject, as well as how one may best serve the students to whom one is obligated to both inspire and teach. Of course, Professor. When did your path become clear? I recall it quite vividly. It was the summer between my sixth and seventh years. I read in the Prophet about a wizard who'd been selling Ockamy eggs and disappeared in the mountains near my home. I knew of the Ockamy, of course, from my studies, but they are native to lands east of here, such as India. I wondered if it was possible that an Ockamy could be so nearby. Hence, I went to find it. What type of beast is an Ockamy? It is a spectacular beast. A feathered, winged, serpent-like creature that can grow or shrink to fit a particular space. Its eggs are made of pure silver, hence the desire to trade in them. <laughs> Seems quite a challenge finding an Ockamy in the mountains. It was. After a few days, during which my parents grew increasingly annoyed at my <laughs> absence, I found what little remained of the wizard egg trader. He was near a tree hollow. And there, inside, was a nest with seven silver Ockamy eggs. What did you do with them? Nothing. 
Beasts are to be valued for what they can provide for wizard kind. Protective clothing, potion ingredients, even wand cores. Only poachers see the value in ending a beast's life for galleons. I left the eggs alone. I hid. And moments later, the beast flew right over my head. Breathtaking. She then seemed to all but disappear as she shrunk to fit into the hollow. That sounds incredible. Indeed. I knew in that moment that I needed to understand all that I could about beasts and ensure that wizard kind learned to benefit properly from them. Now, I trust that I have answered your question. You would do well to continue your study of beasts, regardless of your chosen path. Beasts and all that they provide will vastly improve your life, and perhaps one day even save it. I shall remember that, Professor. Thank you. And I'll fuck you. Man, she talked a lot. Revelio. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. She's talking way too much. Alright, so we got some more quests around here. What the fuck is this? Summoners Court match. Track bikes. Let's go. Da -da 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 -da. Ooh, Fuck do you want? Hello, Grace. What are you doing here? Nice to see you. Thank you again for your help at the lake. I've become quite good at Summoner's Court, and I'm waiting for my next opponent. I suppose that's you. I suppose so. Shall we begin? Yeah, let's I'm game. Well, let's see what you're made of. What is this? Huh? <laughs> I'm surprised. You didn't see that. I did. Akio. Oh yes. What a remarkable shot. Oh, of course. Akio. <laughs> oh my god, I'm a natural talent. Impressive. Of course I'm impressive. The only thing impressive about me. Ah, oh, jeez, you fucking bitch. Man, what a fucking bitch. I don't need anything else. I crushed her. Well, it appears I've been bested. Yeah, you've been bested pretty badly. Well done! Diving, summoner's court. Seems there's nothing you can't do. Of course. You played a good game though, Grace. I did play rather well, didn't I? Only one student no, has didn't. ever beaten me. She's very good. But if you play the way you did against me, you might stand a chance. Ah, oh, shut up. Stop hyping them up like they are some good players, man. Fuck them. I've played even better than me, man. I fucking destroyed you. No, shut up. I'm gonna destroy the other slot as well. Let's see. Beating a curse. Talk to Samantha Dale. Man, fuck the whole world. Let's go. <laughs> fuck do you want? Oh, it's you! Just the person I need. Jesus Christ, shut up. Stop screaming. Samantha, is everything all right? No, no, it's not. It's my brother William. The one I told you about after charms class. <laughs> He's... He's been cursed. 
He ignored my warning, and now he's lying in St. Mungo's looking completely pathetic. He simply never listens. I'm sorry, how exactly has he been cursed? Oh, you won't believe it. Truly, but his feet were turned into purple beets. <laughs> you can imagine his distress. And mine. I won't even go into the attention he was getting from our garden rabbits before he admitted himself to hospital. Beets for feet. <laughs> how hilarious. I mean, how, how terrible. Horrible, truly. You and the entire school may find it funny, but the situation is dire. Well, it is an unusual situation. How did your brother end up like this? It's entirely his own fault. I told him about some research I'd done recently on our ancestor Marmaduke Dale. In particular, my Marmaduke. discovery that Marmaduke's tomb was cursed. My brother's always making fun of my discoveries. This time, he laughed in my face. Told me I'd misinterpreted my findings. As if that were possible. And to prove his point, he went right up to the entrance of the tomb, and poof! His feet transfigured into beets. <laughs> if I'm honest, I'd say he had it coming. Normally I'd agree with you, but he's my brother. I know what he did showed abysmal judgment on his part. And no one deserves such a fate to last forever. Especially as the result of a single brainless mistake. Now I worry that if the curse isn't reversed, it could become permanent. Who gives Can't the shit? curse be broken? Possibly. The curse stems from a crest that was stolen from Marmaduke. If the crest were returned to its rightful place upon his sarcophagus, then I believe that William's feet may be restored. Oh you battled trolls when they attacked Hogsmeade, escaped a dragon, and I could tell by your work and charms that you're a skilled spellcaster. Returning a crest to a sarcophagus should be almost effortless for you. So, will you help us? Oh man, why should I help these idiots? Why was Mom Duke's tomb cursed? The curse is the result of an intense sibling rivalry between Granum Dale and his younger brother Marmaduke. Marmaduke. Marmaduke was a famed <laughs> herbologist, and Granum resented the attention that he received. Sibling rivalry? Sounds as if it might run in the family. But I would never intentionally curse my brother. Not like Granum did. When their mother died, Marmaduke was given the prized family crest. Granum felt that as the eldest child, he should have been given it. Years later, when Marmaduke died, Granum stole it and cursed the tomb so that none in the Dale family could ever pay their respects. Oh my god. How do you know it's safe? I don't want my feet to turn into beets as well. Oh, but the curse only applies to Marmaduke's descendants. As my brother so aptly demonstrated. Jesus That's Christ. why I need your help. You're unrelated to my family, so the curse wouldn't affect you. Yeah, sure. Why is your ancestor so well known? He discovered the properties of several magical herbs and plants. He also uncovered numerous types of flora. The wizarding world owes him a great debt. Of His work not only impacted the discipline of herbology, but also potion making. Of course. I can take the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You'll simply go into the tomb where Marmaduke was laid to rest and place the crest on top of his sarcophagus. According to my research, the tomb's been abandoned for centuries, so it should be a fairly simple task. You'll find it just east of the hamlet of Brockborough. <sighs> thank you for your help. Shut my family up. is indebted to you. Jesus Christ, they start to annoy me with these garbage quests, man. Holy fuck, it's quite far away. And there's some Merlin trails, maybe I can do them on the way. On the way to increase my inventory capacity. Yes, I can do that. I need to find the tomb near Brockborough and place Samantha's family crest on a sarcophagus do, 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 there. Do, 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 do. Merlin trail. Uh, Revelio. I think I finished this one already up. Oh. Haha. <laughs> what do we have here? A demigod. Oh, nice. Then I go in by night. Map. And how do you wait? Yes. Wait. Day to night. I want the demigods. Give me the fucking demigods. Mine now, demigod. Hello, Hamora. First, I need to open that. Yep. 
Revelio. You don't have anything against me coming in, right? You have nothing, huh? I'm gonna watch you. Yeah. I'm not gonna watch you. Nuts. Eat those nuts. <laughs> Dip, 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 dip. Hello, Hamora. Revelio. What? What is this? Looks like a cool chest. Oh, nice. Fuck this ladder, I'm not gonna read it. This is too much, even for me. Akio! Guardian Leviosa! Revelio! My fucking cash. It's my cash. My mine alone. Akio! Right out of a storybook. It is. Rebellion. Up there. Not from side. Wait. Ah. It's my cash. Mine. Mine alone. Rebellion. Where is that? This man. Wait, it's on the inside. What? I, I didn't see it. Revelio. Oh God! Really? I think I finished this one. Oh, there's a, no, a chest over there. Let's see what it contains. Revelio. Why is it still showing? I blundered it already. Oh. God, come on. Weird. Why? Why is that? Oh shit! What did I throw? Revelio. Why is this one showing? I did plunder it. Lumos. Revelio. Depend. All right. Where the fuck were we go? Puff skins, yeah. Huh. What? What is this? Oh, 
Revelio. That's a good start. <laughs> it is, huh? Revelio. Seems like a nice place. Should have known a herbologist would use Devil's Snare. Duke certainly left behind more than plants. Mohammed Duke, man, this name is crazy. <laughs> it reminds me of the Disney movie. Revelio. Mohammed Duke. Disgusting. <laughs> I don't to die. How to do that? Sorry, but I need you guys. Rebellion. What is this? Lumos. Yo, dude, what the? 
Hey, yo! What the fuck? Revelio. Did not expect this shit to go down so fast. Ah, fuck, I have to recollect that crap. Stupid plants. Oh, yeah, I got this one. Jump down. Bombarder. Lumos. Fuck off. Fucking plants. Rebellion. I feel like I've been here once before. Now I have to do it again. A sarcophagus? This must be Marmaduke. That should reverse the curse. Hopefully. Move faster. Even I was moving faster in the Egyptian pyramids. And I'm like two meters tall. He's not even tall, but he's yeah. slow as fuck. How do you get up there? Rebellion. I'm on the right path. Let's get the fuck out of here. <clears throat> Samantha will be glad to hear that the crest has been returned. I certainly hope it reverses the curse. What about fast travel? Oh, that's quite far away. Oh, wait, this this puppy. This goes faster. <laughs> <clears throat> Come on. I'm happy to tell you that I returned the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus just as you asked. I thought as much. I received word from St. Mungo's that my brother's feet are back to normal. No more beats. Oh, I cannot thank you enough. It wasn't too much trouble, I hope. Just a measly old troll. Nothing significant. A troll? Oh dear, I'm so sorry. That's awful. No one has been in that tomb for centuries. But I can't say I'm surprised. Marmaduke seems to have been full of surprises. Indeed he was. Well, I suppose I should be going. I'm anxious to see my brother, who must be elated to have his feet back. Of course. I certainly would be. <laughs> William and I are forever in your debt. Thank you again for what you did. Oh, jeez. Give me some Rebellion. Uh. This is not cutting it. Right, I think... Oh, what is this up there? I want to have it. 
Yep, and I will get it. Nice. Anyway, it was part 47. Thank you for watching. Hogwarts Legacy will be uploaded every Monday and Friday in the evening. Thanks for watching, stay safe out there and tune in in the next part 48, right? Thanks for watching part 47, see ya guys, bye. <laughs>